Coach, you have a lot of years on the bench as a head coach, but this is a little unique taking over early in the conference season. What are the challenges for you in this transition? Well, it is, the timing is unusual, but um, just gonna try to day, but I'm, I'm kind of a grinder. I'm a daily routine guy, and so I'm just gonna take it day by day. And I think the, the most important thing is just investing every ounce of energy I've got with each player on the team. And taking each guy individually, working with that player individually, showing him tape, working with him off the floor, working with him on the floor, both me and the staff and just investing as much, pouring it all out for each individual player in our program. And then hopefully then in time, we'll be able to see some, some nice dividends paid by that. This team is so young. I think people tend to forget that sometimes. Uh, a lot has been made of the fact that there's no seniors here. So you don't have a lot of veteran leadership on this team, but with that, what kind of potential do you see from this team? Oh, I think we've got a lot of potential. We've got good players. We do have a lot of young players, you're right. And that's where player development is so pivotal. Every day, pouring into the guys, watching tape, being out here on the floor with them, being in a team environment with them, but just, again, giving, giving them all you've got to try to grow them, mature them, develop their game. And again, that's both on and off the court. We've got a lot, a lot of things to do. Some of it are on the floor, and then there's some things off the floor that we've got to continue to build as well. You look at the, the games this team has played this year, and in virtually every one, there's, there's a stretch where it all falls together. Mm -hmm. And these guys look like world beaters and you see that the ability is there. I guess one of the challenges of a young team is getting that kind of production for the entire game. Well, you basically answered it right out of your question. I mean, it's, we're young, 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 young. And with youth, there's gonna be some droughts in games. There's gonna be some mistakes. Unfortunately, you've gotta play through some of that to to get them to that next stage of their of their career but uh, we do have a lot of youth on this team but we've got really good guys i think we've got guys that want to be coached some guys don't want to be coached i think we've got guys that want to be coached and want to be taught and want to be challenged a little bit and i'm not uh, i'm not a guy to coddle guys i'm going to be very demanding and pretty hard but i think you can be hard kind of in a nice way you don't have to be terribly critical or use bad language, but I am going to be very demanding and very challenging and very hard because I do think there's a way to play the game and that's certainly the way we're going to try to play it. Are those some of the lessons you learned from your dad? I learned a lot from my dad. I played for my dad at UAB back way back when in the early 80s and then I coached for my dad as an assistant coach as well. So yeah, a lot of what that the way that I think, things that I do on the floor, I catch myself when I'm coaching guys, really kind of remembering back to him. So uh, my dad was a great coach at UAB and of course at a lot of different places, but uh, my dad was really a better man than he was a coach. So he was a, he was a great man. Finally, what is your message to Bulls basketball fans who are supporting this team and kind of watching this change unfold at midseason. Well, just stay tuned. I mean, we're going to continue to grind and work and and get as good as we can get. the The wins and the the wins will come. We're in a really tough league. We're in a really really tough league. Obviously, we're 0 and 2 right now. We've got 16 league games left. But it's a tough, tough, tough league. We're playing a lot of young guys. But what I could promise them is we're going to work incredibly hard. I mean, we're going to, nobody's going to outwork us what we do on a daily basis. And again, I think a lot of that starts off the floor, who we are off the floor, and then bringing that to right where we're sitting right now to on the floor. But we're going to grind. We're going to work. And I think you'll see a team that will grow and get better over the coming weeks in the coming months, and that's what we're going to try to do.